Hey, uh, how's everybody doing? I just want to take a minute to uh, talk about, uh, if you didn't know, there we go. If you didn't know, I'm a pretty big WWE fan. Uh, I love, I love so much about the, the entertainment of it. Just the goofiness of it. Yeah, a lot of these moves are goofy as heck, bro. You're gonna sit here and tell me you could, you could throw someone off of a steel cage and they're gonna survive. Like, obvious, uh, no, not they're gonna survive, but you're telling me, come on. Yes, wrestling is goofy. Wrestling is fake, obviously, but I just love it. It's, it's been a part of my life since I was like, I don't know, five? And I'm 20 now. Almost 21. So I just want to talk about my favorite wrestler of all time, Randy Orton. Uh, sadly, Randy Orton hasn't wrestled in a while because his, he, he messed up his back pretty bad doing his finisher. Or his finish, his signature move, which is the most well-known wrestling move of all time. Besides the rock bomb and attitude adjustment, the RKO. It's the most meme move of all time. It's probably the most famous wrestling move of all time. And I think... I think everyone knows about the RKO. It's up there with the Stone Cold Stunner, the Rock Bottom, and John Cena's Attitude Adjustment. Yeah, I mean, you there's other well-known moves like the Walls of Jericho's is pretty well. Walls of Jericho is pretty well known. The GTS is somewhat well known, but you have your four like your big four finishers, right? The Rock Bottom, the Stone Cold Stunner. The attitude adjustment and the RKO. And the RKO just happens to be my favorite out of the four. It's a really dangerous move for your back. Uh, as Randy Orton has been injured since last year. And he hasn't wrestled since last year sadly. But uh, I hope he will come back for at least one more match. I think the writing's on the walls for him. Which is sad. But uh, he's given me 20 years of enjoyment. I don't really like... 20 years of just pure entertainment, pure enjoyment, and I'm, gonna be honest, it, or it's just been so fun to watch him. From his Legend Killer days, to his Viper days, and now he's the Apex Predator. Uh, and, the, you know, and I think that a lot of his matches were great. Uh, the Mick Foley match, the, the hardcore match with Mick Foley, one of the greatest hardcore matches of all time. And I don't say that lightly. His uh, blood feud with Cena, like, great feud. Let's talk about his WrestleMania 30 match with Daniel Bryan and Batista. The, again, one of my favorite matches of all time. It's one of the best triple threats ever, period. And he put Daniel Bryan over, and Daniel Bryan is one of the best wrestlers of all time. Bryan Danielson, my bad. Uh, a lot, yeah. Uh, let's talk about so many great matches with Cena. Uh, so many, his recent match with Edge, that is still, in my opinion, one of the best recent matches in his career. And he is just, in my opinion, the greatest technical wrestler of all time. Yeah, you could say Brian Danielson's up there. Chris Jericho is up there. Uh, the man who shall not be named in rest, you know, the most forbidden name in wrestling entertainment, Chris Benoit, his name's up there. I think CM Punk's somewhat up there. John Cena's up there. But I think Randy Orton just takes the cake for technicality. And that's why I like him, man. And he has probably the most brutal finisher of all time. The punt kick, bro. It, it, besides, it's the curb stomp. That looks like the most painful finisher of all time. You're get, he's like If you don't know what the punt kick is. It is a move he brought out in like 2009, I think, when he became the Viper. Uh, yeah, Randy Orton was known as a psychopath from like 2009 to 2014. Shaved his head bald, was kicking people in the face. So the punt kick is he gets in the corner. The guy's on the ground. They start picking themselves up. He runs full sprint and boots them in the face like a football. Like WWE, they banned the move because of how dangerous it could potentially be. And they were scared kids were going to start mimicking it. Because you know how when you're younger, if you're a wrestling fan, you know when you're younger, you do moves on trampolines or you do moves on your bed with your brother. I almost broke my neck doing that, but, you know, it was fun. Uh, yeah, the curb stomp, if you didn't know, it's similar to the pump kick, but way more brutal. Seth Rollins kicks someone in the stomach, goes off the rope, jumps in the air, and puts his foot above their head and stomps their head into the ground. The curb stomp. Sorry, I'm a little geek for wrestling. 
Yeah, there's just so many. There's been so many good rat matches for Randy Orton's career. He had the greatest like RKO reverse, like curb stomp reversal ever. Yeah, Seth Rollins jumped like went for the curb stomp. Randy Orton launched him in the air for. A, if you've seen it, it's such a good R it, like such a good reversal. Launches him in the air and catches him for an RKO. Like Randy Orton has some of the best counters into his finisher of all time. The Evan Morton shooting star into an RKO, like uh, the Ricochet one, it was really good. I, the, I think Carlito, I think he had one on Carlito where Carlito did like a corner onto, uh, like got into the corner of the middle rope and jumped onto the top rope for a springboard. And Randy Orton calm with an RKO. It's still one of the, oh my gosh, like just look up RKO counter. No count. Yeah, RKO counter compilation. It will show you just how, like, fun Randy Orton is. He's had so many iconic matches that uh, it's, it's just so good, man. I'm trying to think of more. Like, his WrestleMania, I think, 34 match with Seth Rollins. Really good match. Like, oh, my gosh. I'm trying to think. I can't. Re There's so many good matches I can't really think of. Like, obviously, I've named a lot of the iconic ones off the top of my head. And his two Royal Rumble wins. Loved watching that. 2009. Whew. Anyway, this is just an appreciation post for Randy Orton. Uh, get better, uh, Randy. I hope to see you in one more match soon. You're my favorite wrestler of all time, uh, aside from Rey Mysterio. And, yeah, it goes you, Rey Mysterio. Like, uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the match soon. Uh, bring the punk kick back. I'll talk, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, I'm out.